drink of water. It's something many of us take for granted, but for those living on the streets, a bottle of water can save their life. Tonight, we're introducing you to a man who brings water to those in need and says giving back his time helped him reconnect with his own family. Here's Amber Sullins. Anybody want a case of cold water? I'm out while well, they're still in bed or still asleep and we wait till they wake up and then we deliver the water. Up bright and early on Valley Roads, handing out thousands of water bottles each day. This group of volunteers trying to make a difference in the lives of those who are sleeping on the streets. Good morning, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Very good, that water's gonna be nice and cold for you. Joseph Yanez drives St. Vincent de Paul's Celebrity Fight Night water truck. It goes all over the valley, providing a life-saving resource to those in need. Yanez has been volunteering with the nonprofit. If you like your ice cold water, get your case, ice cold water. Delivering water along 24 different routes for seven years. His reason for volunteering? Something very close to his heart. I had a daughter out in the street for 10 years and when I was given the opportunity to drive this celebrity fight night van it opened up an opportunity for me to see if I could find her. Yanez did eventually reconnect with his daughter and has been donating his time ever since handing out water and other supplies and helping families reconnect. We also periodically will get a photo of a person in which they would pass on throughout the dining rooms and including the 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 water truck and we've had very good success finding individuals love loved ones out there. Now he encourages others to get out and help. You're welcome. Many blessings. Take a little time. Take take one day out of out of your uh, out of your one year. Make a difference and you go home feeling good. Who knows? Well, joining us now is Joseph to talk a little bit more about the work he does here at St. Vincent de Paul. You have such an amazing story, and um, it, it's just such an awesome thing that you were able to find your daughter out of all of this. I know for some people that would have been enough, but for you, you kept going. Why? Well, it's just one of those things, uh, parent, parently love for your, for your children, everything like that. Uh, uh, I've been doing this for quite some time, so uh, we all fall from grace. Uh, and it continues me, cont I'm continuing going out forward, helping those other individuals in needs. Periodically, we will in turn receive um, missing individuals. They give us those, I go out there. I'm, a, I'm the guy that actually hits the street hard. I serve about 180 to 200 individuals a day. Um, these pallets of water you see behind me, there is a, there is a total of 84 cases within, within the pallet uh, in a total of 2,000 some odd 16 uh, water bottles we give out. I give actually a, a, a pallet and a half per day along with hygiene, food, socks, things like that. It's so important <clears throat> because, you know, Arizona, it, it's hard enough to deal with if you have access to water and air conditioning. But for those that don't, you, you've got to be such a godsend and a blessing to them. Well, that, that may be true, that may be not true. The fact of the matter is, I've always been a person who has enjoyed helping the fellow human being. Throughout my career, that's all I've done. Social work, social work here, give, help. Those that give to me, I give to them. Have you seen an increase in the amount of water you give out or if the amount of people that you see uh, over the last several years here? It's just unbelievable out there how the population, homeless population, has grown by leaps and bounds. Before it was the elder, now predominantly we're seeing a lot of the youth. Mm. I would say between 21 and 28 years of age. Uh, we provide them with resources to shelters. Uh, we encourage them to return back to the homestead. We encourage them to, to go places where there's, there's shelter, shade, things like that. And most importantly, what I, what I try to teach them is, you know, Stay in groups. Yeah. Make make yourself can a, help each other. Right. Yeah. And, and that's what I see out there just the, as the well. Community. We got to take care of each other. Well, Joseph needs your help because this water he's going to go through pretty quickly here. So we have a water drive going on as we at ABC 15 and CW 61 team up with St. Vincent de Paul so that people like Joseph can go out and give the water to the people who need it on the streets. So for the month of June, you can donate at any Bashes or Food City. You can donate at any of the Valley St. Vincent de Paul thrift stores. We have a way for you to text to donate, uh, and we're going to put that information up on the screen now for the month of June. Again, the text is Water Drive 
all one word. And you can also go to abc15.com slash water. So again, the information is there on your screen for this next month. We're going to try to collect as much water as we can to help those in need. Because you heard it from Joseph, there are more people in need now on the streets than ever before. And our summers are only going to be getting hotter uh, as our climate changes and as our overnight temperatures don't provide a whole lot of relief either. So if you can help us out, we would really appreciate it.